Crypto family, welcome back to the channel. Aaron here from the Bitcoin Bros coming back at you with another cryptocurrency video today. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We have new cryptocurrency videos coming out every single day. Make sure to subscribe. And guys, I do apologize. I'm a little bit under the weather. I have a cold right now. But we're going to be getting into our top seven altcoins for 2024. And before we get into it, I do want to get a little bit of a disclaimer we're not telling you to go all in on altcoins. We do recommend you at least get one Bitcoin before buying any other altcoins. This is from Charlie Lee here, the creator of Litecoin. He tweeted this a couple of years ago. He says there will be at most 21 million Bitcoins in existence. There isn't even enough Bitcoin to go around for every millionaire to own. So before you buy any other coin, try to at least own one Bitcoin first. So that is our recommendation to you. That is not financial advice. This is just our opinion. This is how we invest in the cryptocurrency market. These altcoins are a lot more volatile than Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been a more steady crypto than the other altcoins out there. I mean, there are thousands of them at this point, and a lot of them are just pumping dumps or trying to steal your money. So be careful out there, but we're going to be getting into our top seven here in today's video. Let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to start off with some Solana based altcoins here. We're gonna start with Orca. We believe that Orca would be an altcoin that performs well in 2024, just off the fact that it's the biggest DEX on Solana. And you can see the market cap is around $340 million there. We believe this could potentially do an 100X in 2024 for the simple reason. If you look at what Uniswap did back in 2021, it went up to around a 21 billion dollar market cap and in this bull market we believe that market caps for the altcoins will go grow a lot bigger so we think that the biggest dex could go to potentially 50 or 60 billion dollars so if orca does that that's around an 100x not saying that's going to happen but the reason why we're comparing solana with ethereum uh, we have that narrative going on in crypto right now that solana will be the altcoin that flips ethereum and if you haven't used solana yet check it out it's a lot faster than ethereum fees are very very low and you don't have the scaling problems that ethereum has now you have some trade-off when it comes to decentralization it's a lot more centralized than ethereum but we could really see a solana wave like we've seen in the entire year of 2023 and we could see some of these altcoins like orca really blast off potentially do a hundred X. This is not financial advice. Like we said, you know, invest at your own risk. You know, none of this is guaranteed. We could definitely go back down to lower prices from here for Orca, but this is just something for you guys to take into consideration. And then also Pith network, this crypto here is on the Solana network. And this is basically chain link on Solana. So it's an Oracle solution. It was just released earlier in November and basically the big difference between pith and chainlink is that it is just a lot faster than chainlink the price feeds are basically instantaneous milliseconds so it's just a lot faster and some people have issues with pith network because of the fully diluted market cap in the total supply versus the circulating supply there's currently 1.5 billion pith in the circulating supply and the fully diluted market cap is $3.5 billion compared to the market cap right now of 531 million. But if you do check out the tokenomics, those aren't going to be released for a very long time. I mean, we're talking 48 months from now, but around month six here, there's something to pay attention to. We will see the circulating supply go from around 1.5 billion up to somewhere around $4 billion. So just uh, something to pay attention to there. But if you compare that to where the market cap of Chainlink went back in 2021, it went up to around a $50 billion market cap. So if Pith was to go to a $50 billion market cap, that would be around 100x from right now. That's definitely not guaranteed, but it's something to watch out for. Pith could have some big gains in 2024. So our next crypto, we're going to get a little bit away from the Solano ecosystem. We're going to be looking at a gaming crypto echelon prime this is a game and it came out earlier this year in march it had a little bit of a sell-off after the ico here at around seven dollars and sixty cents we've since surpassed that and we have done nothing but really go up into the right for this crypto and echelon prime check out their website here 
They have a lot of different games. They're partnered with a lot of different games. So check them out. They could be a very promising game. Not a gamer myself, but I believe that gaming cryptos will be a huge narrative in 2024 and going forward in the bull run. And one thing that we really liked about Echelon Prime is it's one of the only gaming cryptos that are listed by Coinbase. So we believe that when a lot of the retail investors come back into the space, when there's a lot of FOMO in the market, people are going to go to Coinbase. They're going to be buying the gaming cryptos that they can get their hands on. This is one of the only ones on Coinbase as of right now. There are a lot of others out there, but as of right now, Echelon Prime is one of the few. And the market cap is only around $262 million. So this is a potential 100Xer. And if we compare that to a gaming crypto that blasted off back in 2021, Axie Infinity, that hit a market cap of around $16 billion. So it's definitely in that space to potentially 100X. So Echelon Prime is a gaming crypto that we are looking out for. And guys, this is just a brief overview. If you want us to go in depth in detail on more of these projects we definitely can we're just thinking about the narrative and we think some of the money flow will go during this next boron and the next crypto we're going to put in there this is a crypto we've been talking about for years now and that is xcad network uh, xcad network has some substantial inflation so make sure to watch out for that if you're going to be holding this long term uh, just to give you guys an example if we look at the market cap right now it's around 62 million if we look at the market cap back here just spot pick a date somewhere back here in august of 2022 it was around the same market cap that we see today but if we look at the price back in august of 2022 the price was around one dollar 82 cents so the price has gone down a bit even though market cap has stayed relatively the same and that's just due to basic inflation there they do have some deflationary things built into their game fi ecosystem you guys can learn more about X cap, but the reason why we think this could be a hundred X or because the mark cap is super low at 62 million and they're basically tokenizing YouTubers, allowing you to trade with uh, YouTube uh, content creator tokens and bet on what content creator will do the best. Uh, and they have some other elements to their ecosystem. This is one of the reasons why we like it. And the reasons why we think this one can do a hundred X is basically because Mr. Beast was an early investor in this project. And if he promotes this on his YouTube channel, I think that's when we could potentially see a 100x gain from XCAD Network. So that's one to definitely keep on your guys' radar. And then the next crypto that we're going to be looking at here is Fetch AI. And this just goes with the whole theme of artificial intelligence. We've seen how big AI has been in 2023, and I think that trend continues in the future so if you check out fetch ai's website here they're basically just integrating ai with other blockchains just any type of artificial intelligence that is what fetch ai is focused on building it in with apis and just a lot of different integrations with artificial intelligence and also making it decentralized so that is what they're focused on and you can see their market cap is around 600 million dollars so this is one that we are looking at. It has gone parabolic here over the past couple of weeks. So definitely be careful when we see these cryptos go up. They definitely can come shooting right back down. That's something that you have to always be watchful for. Never go all in on these. Uh, but you can see that we're definitely going to have some potential in this AI space over the next year. Especially as AI continues to advance and it becomes more ingrained in our ecosystem. And we're seeing everything that Tesla OpenAI, Google, Amazon, what all these huge companies are doing with artificial intelligence. We don't want them to win this AI race. We want a Web3 company like Fetch AI to win so that AI is decentralized. And that's why we're looking at Fet to be a potential 100Xer because it is a lower market cap crypto as well there. So that's one to pay attention to. And then this is basically the same thing here. Singularity Net. Ajax, they have been focusing on AI for a while. You can see they had an IPO all the way back in 2018. They peaked out in 2021 at around 54 cents. We blasted off earlier in 2023, and we kind of hit that same all-time high before falling back down. Over the past couple of weeks, we've started to see Ajax start to climb back to the upside. So this is a crypto we think could do well. 
in 2024 because we think it will continue to ride the wave with AI and checking out their website here. Uh, Ajax, they're basically just focused on artificial intelligence, the next generation of decentralized AI. So there's a lot of different players in the space. There's a lot of different cryptos focusing on AI. You can guys can go check them out on CoinMarketCap or whatever site you want to and, you know, select the ones that you believe in. We just thought that FET and Singularity Net had a good brand and we liked what they were doing. So we decided to go with them. So so those are some other cryptos that we've been looking at for uh, 2024. And the last crypto is not a specific crypto, but we're going to be talking about Cardano. Do I think Cardano can do an 100x in 2024? Probably not. It's a $21 billion market cap. But one thing you guys should be looking at is the Cardano altcoins, the coins that are built on top of Cardano, like SNEC or Ergo or Cody. If you check out some of these Cardano coins like Cody, you can see the market cap is relatively small, only $91 million. These cryptos really haven't had a narrative as of yet, but we believe Cardano will do well in 2024 for the simple fact is this is the exact opposite of Solana. As Solana continues to eat at Ethereum's market cap, we believe Cardano will as well. Cardano is more decentralized than Solana and has not build everything as fast as possible, make it the easiest and make sure things are very scalable. It's kind of the opposite. They take the long-term approach. Cardano does things very methodically. They make sure to get things done right the first time and they're not really focused on scaling. They believe they will be able to scale, but they're not very focused on it as of right now. But Look at cryptos like Cody here. This is a Cardano token built on the Cardano blockchain. And you can see the market cap was up here at around $500 million back in 2021. Currently, it's at $100 million. So we think that this could be one of the cryptos that potentially does well in the Cardano ecosystem. So just look out for some of the Cardano ecosystem plays out there. We can really see our Cardano wave come with some of these cryptos down here. So make sure just to check out some of them if you haven't yet so limewire is another one that we're looking at this is I believe this is a cardano ai play so check out some of these coins guys but that is basically it for our top altcoins with 100x potential in 2024 let me know what you guys are looking at let me know if you missed your favorite altcoin but like i said earlier in today's video this is not financial advice we're not telling you guys to go all in and invest in these at your own risk. They are very, very volatile and you can lose all of your money like we've seen with so many other altcoins before like Terra Luna. So invest at your own risk, guys. But with great risk comes great reward. So that's all I have for today's video. Like I said, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. My name is Aaron from Bitcoin Bros. I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.